how do you and who does it determine when the, is the right situation? Everyone needs to read a book for every character, what to use them and when not. That's kind of ridiculous. If you think you need to read a book to figure out when a character like me is viable or not, actually, I, that would be, I, I'm not gonna, I feel bad for you. I don't mean to be toxic, it's just like, you don't need to read a book to figure out when a May is useful or not. If you have five people saying, please don't play May, when you're the reason we're you? losing. Swapping is probably a good idea. If you have five people say, hey, I don't think you should play Torb on Ilya as well here, dude. I don't think we were going to be able to set up a defense if we don't win the first fight. Maybe you don't need a book to figure that one out. And if like Symmetra players... Wait, wait, you... Well, like Torb you players keep it? getting reported consistently. Maybe there's something wrong with that Torb player, you know? Good and bad is not subjective. And just because something might work sometimes does not mean it's good. Uh, if I didn't play the game competitively, like if I didn't have aspects to become pro or stream, and if like I just play this game casually, like I sometimes just boot up Realm or like Fortnite just to have fun with some friends, I would probably never do that in Overwatch because I play to win and this game is not a, a good game to do that with. But like it is my job, like streaming, and I still have fun playing this game sometimes. Like, one out of, like, 50 games might be still competitive and, like, enjoyable to play. And that gives, it's just so much fun that it's hard not to play it. It's hard to explain. Like, if you think about how many old Overwatch players that played competitively, that didn't instantly make it into Overwatch League Season 1, but Overwatch League is something that will exist for years to come, that I'll just quit the game. They quit the game just to play Run Real or Fortnite or, you know, whatever. I'm gonna ult in the swap. My passion from day one of this game has been for, in the potential of this game and never like rarely ever in the current stage it's like cocaine you keep chasing that one good game come on dude i'm just trying to game hey i only wait like i'm hoping for the day or overwatch gets esca that shit's gonna be so fucking pog dude it's actually insane banning players for playing a hero on a map is not the way you may as well block the hero entirely on the map in question no i'm saying banning players who play hero on one map in competitive queue is the way to go they should get banned from competitive they can play quick play and shit all they fucking want but as long as it's not the official rank system of the game that's really dumb that you don't ban people who play characters that are obviously subpar that puts their character your team not only in a disadvantage but also a massive disadvantage when the game is entirely designed upon whoever wins is the best team, meaning whoever lost has the worst player. Leaving Torp people in Yellow safe is 100% banned, the Blizzard especially leaving at one a ban button. Absolutely. If you don't care about the competitive game mode that they have, if you don't follow the terms of service, if you don't care about winning, if you don't care about playing with your team, or even like trying to win, or even trying your best to win, if you don't care about those things, and yet you queue up for competitive, then yeah, you probably should be banned. Like if that's like a I want to be banned button, then a lot of people have would be pressing it until people realize, damn, if I queue up for this ranked game right now, I really need to try my best or I might get banned. If I don't try my best to win and I just play around with my team, not giving, like, playing fairly, like, if all I do is just fuck around, then I might get banned. Maybe having that, like, mindset is really healthy for the game. If I queue up into, like, ranked and I go, I don't care about this game, maybe I'll just play Torb or, like, I'll just do some stupid shit, like, oh, that guy pissed me off. I'm gonna play Symmetra. You know? If I can have that mindset, then I should not be able to play ranked, right? You can't blame them for Torb and Sim characters being in comp. You can blame them for not trying to win. And if you get to the point where, hey, Torb, the only reason we are losing is because you're playing that character. Could you swap to anything else and we'll try to make it work? Even if you're not as good with it as we are or as you could, you are on Torb. Right now, Torb is not working. If they completely ignore that, and say, no, I'm playing Torb. I don't fucking care if they got banned. I don't. I think a lot of people wouldn't care if they got banned. They deliberately choose suboptimal strategies to put themselves and their team at a disadvantage oh, consistently. I don't think they're ever gonna get banned. I don't think Blizzard's ever gonna take that stance. I'm just talking about my personal opinion. They shouldn't like be banned from the game. They should not be able to play ranked. If you're unaware that they are bad heroes, you deserve a ban. If you're unaware and then get told and you completely ignore it, I actually do think but like i'm i have dreams of this game there are two things for this game that i that they can do one is get a true solo queue and alternatively include an actual ranked team matchmaking system and imagine that ranked matchmaking system working in the way is like old wow arenas you have a team i'll cl create a team and i can invite up to 12 people there are restrictions on who you can flex out and when and replacing people and shit, right but it mirrors the competitive aspects of overwatch league you have 12 people can include whoever the fuck you want and you obviously pick who you're gonna play with and not right which is fine because you can't be pissed at someone playing torb in your game if you like choose to play with them and then like 
Imagine that they have this ranked matchmaking system. There's a ladder with no individual SR, and it's SR for it's uh it's SR dependent on the team and how the team does as an entire team, right? That's sick. And then there's in-client tournament weekly and monthly tournaments where you can play and compete depend based on your SR and shit. Wouldn't that be fucking sick? I think a lot of people would come back to the game and a lot of people would fucking play that shit, man. LFG was a clear like interact or introduction to like grouping and that's fucking pog but that's not good for high sr but this shit would fix everything and i also think that like there should be not a quick play there should be like any a, a game mode that works exactly like competitive but it's not ranked so people can play and do this shit that still punishes like not trying and like trolls and shit in an environment where it doesn't actually affect your rank now you're splitting the community into too many game modes go like for two hour queues I mean, that's it's. This is all my personal opinion. I would rather have a two-hour queue and have a quality game after than having fucking stupid games with people who don't care about winning and don't I care about trying. Guys, right? Shit like that, you know. I would rather have a two-hour queue into really fucking rewarding and fun game. Having like a solo queue and six-stack queue and introducing and making quick play into like a mirror of competitive with no rank where you play to win for a longer game, but maybe like loosely Wait, not punishing levers as much. And then like I would fucking love. Oh, I would fucking love ESCA. A third party matchmaking system where people always play to win with like captains and shit. Fuck yeah. Because like imagine if you you play like captains pick the team where you're like you have two dedicated captains based on like endorsement level or SR and they get to pick the team one by one. They take turns just like old school football, you know? And there's a sim player in the game. No one would fucking care. Like, no one would pick that sim and the sim would feel really fucking bad and shit, or like the Torb. But a third party matchmaking doesn't have to care about people's feelings. They just care about like people actually playing it, you know? So like ESCA or like Face It would be fucking so much fun, man. I would play the shit out of that, dude. Think of a guild system? Yeah, dude, you create a guild. You have, ex but I don't think Blizzard would allow that. I think Blizzard would probably shut things like that down because it's been development for a long time and face it has stated that they're interested in it and never happened so i'm guessing that blizzard just doesn't want it i want you to say you all play lol but i've watched people left and right throw an esa on games i mean yeah you're gonna have throwers you're gonna have throwers that get fucking banned dude and you're gonna have a high rank system where people don't actually actively throw deliberately for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games dude that's not gonna happen in a third party ranked matchmaking system because they will if a third party ranked matchmaking system actually exists and it does well the only reason they do well is because they will be responsive to their community you know i wish i could see which oasis map this is before it's the bouncy pad I know which one it is now, but before this, you can't see. Absolutely. God damn, you must have had one long boner, my dude. I'll help you finish it off in a month, my man. Mark this day on your calendar. If you have Amazon Prime or it's family member has Amazon Prime, you can link that Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and get a free Twitch Prime. And that means you get a Twitch account, Twitch sub on your Twitch Prime account. What, every per for free every every month yeah, yeah, yeah. and oh, you don't get ads right. and you can also do the free amazon prime trial and then link it to your twitch prime account for the free one month twitch prime yeah dylan chris take us over to the twitch prime god damn i gotta sell it more often click it click it see if you get something free you get free games dude you get fucking if you use it you get free fucking boxes or loot boxes and fucking loot my mans you get games you get love for me because that's really what matters isn't it chat when they engage i'm gonna go on the trait or the zen again try to one clip him but even if i don't i'm just gonna try to fucking distract the mercy God, I love you, chat. God, I love you. I especially love the people that have a Twitch Prime sub available right now. I love you more than others. We get some big frog in chat. He charged me into my own bomb. He's just that insane. The bad play by me. Dude, the bubble bait is huge. Thank you. Good job, guys. Nice. GG, guys. GG, guys. Well played. <laughs> Manda made some kids sell their mother's credit card.
just give it back to them and they don't they're not gonna know where their the monthly subscription to the men dojo big dick club goes to you know how are they gonna figure that one out they're just gonna really question <laughs> what it is you spend your money on okay i'm gonna draw overwatch Bitch, abilities yo prison lobster thank you so much for the prime thank you thank you thank you i don't want to when i sell out i really don't want to come up with dick you know i actually really appreciate the subs 